Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stacey, creator at Mother Naked. So today I finally have some news. Yes. Uh, basically the UFI codes uh, thing, I've got some information on it. Um, it was supposed to come into play in January 2021 for UK residents, but kind of there was a lot of questions in the air about it. One, because we're leaving the EU and we're in the UK. Uh, and two, because I went to submit my kind of poison notification for my fragrance oils and it was rejected because we live in the UK. So it's like, what is happening? Uh, so I wanted to get some info for you, like concrete. Uh, so I sent an email to the GBCL, so Great Britain CLP, uh, information, notification, blah, 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 poison center. Uh, so I thought they were the best ones to email for some information and some insight. So I sent a, an email to them saying, hi, my name is Stacy. I run a candle business and YouTube channel discussing everything candle related. I was aware of the UFI number coming into play in January, 2021, but now Eka Poison Center isn't accepting any dossier submissions for candles on the market in the UK. Do I need to submit a GB, Great Britain, CLP notification or are my labels compliant by just adhering to the UK normal CLP regulations? Any information would be greatly appreciated. And then I put, and then I put like, please. <laughs> it's like a, please. I should have done that to be fair. Thank you, Stacey. So that's what I've done. And the nice lady emailed me back. Oh, I'm so glad she did because it was just one of those things hovering around because obviously I'm doing a new range of candles. <clears throat> uh, apparently the Eufy thing didn't even come into play if you already had candles on the market. But because I'm introducing new scents and a new range of candles, that didn't apply to me. So I was kind of waiting to do my CLP labels before like sending them off. So I'm so glad that she emailed me back. I can just get on with things. So she put, Dear Stacey, I have assumed that you are based in Great Britain rather than Northern Ireland. If this is not the case, then please get back to us. I am, so let's read on. The requirement to generate UFIs comes from Annex blah, blah, blah. Uh, it did not become mandatory in the EU until 1st of January, 2021. We know that. Which was after the end of the transition period. Okay. As such, Annex blah, 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 was not retained in Great Britain CLP. Therefore, there is no requirement to generate UFIs under GB CLP. She continues, even though there is no requirement to generate UFIs, GB importers and downstream users, that's us, are encouraged to submit information about the hazardous mixtures that they do place on the Great Britain market to the UK Poison Centre, MPIS. Further information about this can be found on the .gov website and on the NPIS website. So basically she's saying you don't need to do a UFI, hooray, but if you're an importer or a downstream user, downstream user, that's us, uh, then they would encourage us to put forward our mixtures on this NPIS website. There is a separate substance notification duty under Great Britain CLP. The notification duty applies to Great Britain based manufacturers and importers. If you don't manufacture substances or import them into Great Britain, either on their own or in mixtures, then you will not have a duty to notify. Note that if you obtain all of your ingredients, example, wax, essential oils, colorants from Great Britain based suppliers, which I do, uh, and simply mix them together to make mixtures, candles, then you are a downstream user rather than a manufacturer. The labeling rules under Great Britain CLP are essentially the same as those in EU CLP. So all our hazard symbols and our pictograms and our hazardous allergens and everything like that all still apply. Therefore, if the labels you put on your candles are compliant with EU CLP, then they should still be compliant with GB CLP. There's a lot of initials. The key difference is that a Great Britain CLP label must contain the contact details of the Great Britain based supplier rather than an EU supplier. Presumably, you already use your Great Britain address on the label. Correct, I do. 
Over time, Great Britain CLP may start to diverge into EU CLP. From now on, we will make our own decisions about mandatory classification and labelling. We also we may also make we may also make changes to the classification criteria which are not reflected in the EU CLP. We suggest that you sign up for the e bulletin to make sure you receive the latest updates. So what I get from that is because we're leaving and we're Brexiting and all that sort of stuff, uh, they might change the CLP label requirements and things. Uh, they might get a little less severe than what they are now, or they might get a little bit more complicated. Who knows? Uh, but we are making our own decisions for that. So we should just keep up to date, which I will try and do for you guys as well. Um, so that's that's it. Yay! We don't need to generate a UV number. If, you, if you're in the UK, you do not need to generate a UV number, which is awesome. That is what this says. Uh, so that's it. We can stop moidering about it. Um, I'm so happy that it's just not even a thing. We'll look into it a little bit more about that MPIS website thing. See, she calls us a downstream user, but then she says, we are still encouraged to submit information about the hazardous mixtures, but the word encouraged as well. So you, 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 nah. I think just have a gander, it, gander at it uh, in your own time. But the good thing about it is we don't need to generate a UFI code for our CLP labels. Uh, so thumbs up and I can move ahead with the new branding of my candles because that was seriously like up in the air. I didn't want to kind of cash out for new CLP labels because uh, this is the first time that I'm having them done professionally and I didn't want to do that and then bloody you be on that because then it's just I've just spent a fortune for nothing. Um, so that's about it. I just wanted to give you that information so because I know a lot of you uh, were messaging me on Instagram that were worried about the 2021 thing in January. So um, we can stop panicking about it now. It's all good. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. Uh, I will be back on Thursday with another one. Uh, thank you so much for watching as usual. And mwah!